Okay, we've done all the steps now. Now the hardest part is the face. Uh, we still have to put his clothes on and have to paint him, but uh, we're going to do the face. And I'll do it pretty quick because uh, it's a pretty small face. But after this, you'll be able to go to another video and learn eight steps to do the face. Whether I'm doing a big face or a little face, I still do all these same steps. And see, so you end up with a reasonable facsimile of a face. It may not be the best face, but we'll use all these steps to put a little a face on this little guy. Okay, so here we go. First step is a V-cut close to the top of the close to the the hat. And this V-cut is a brow. It's where on this little guy, right here, it's where his eyebrows meet his nose. And most people have a little dip there. So we're putting a little dip in. Step two are a little V-cut place for his eyes. These little people don't have carved eyes. They just have painted eyes. But if you don't get that little V-cut in there, then it, it looks real flat. And you want to be able to see half the eye from the side of the face. So we can see that. There's the, there's the one little V cut off of the brow. And here's the other V cut. And those are just, uh, just little simple cuts that we'll, we'll probably make a little better later. So right now you can see the brow cut place for one eye, place for the other eye, and we kind of angle them down because that's kind of a caricature thing to do. Okay, and then the nose, I'm going to put right about in here. Cut the bottom of the nose off. Sounds bad, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll cut the bottom of the nose off to get a little profile started. His little nose is starting to stick out. So now we're going to take some of that chin off. And we'll probably undercut this a little bit more. Okay, so we got a little bitty nose there. We got some little chin started. Now there's two deep places in a face. One is beside the eye, right here. This is a deep place. And the other is beside the nose. And if you look at people from the side, half of their nose sticks out from their upper lip and the other part is back in their face. So in a carving, if you don't get that, then the face becomes real flat. Now see, this guy hasn't been painted yet, but see that deep cut right there and right there and how, how his eyes are a little deep, deep set right there. So in carving to get that, we're going to cut the sides of the nose off a little bit. Little teeny cut. See that little triangle cut there? And we're going to cut this side of the nose off. Right here. Little triangular cut. Now, believe it or not, that sets the nose back in the face a little bit. And uh, we're going to make this one a little bit deeper. It's like a little pyramid cut. So if I could hold this on the end of my knife, which I don't know if I can. Nope, there it goes. It'd be a little pyramid cut, and you, kinda, you can kind of see it there. Deepen it a little bit. And the older we get, the deeper our smile lines are. So I'm going to put these on just so you can see where they come from. I'm going to show them to you on these little people. See right here? These are his smile lines. And they go right up to the side of his nostril. If you're carving somebody with a, a mustache, you still have those deep cuts there but the top of the mustache and the bottom of the cheek are uh, carved out a little bit. 
So we're going to take our knife, let's take this pointed one, and we're just going to make a V cut from that depth over here and pop that out. The depth of that cut on the side of the nose and cut that out. Okay, he doesn't look very happy right now, does he? Okay, we're going to round that area out by getting rid of that little ridge there. Get rid of some of that junk. Okay, and if I'm making a big end in face like this, I put those lines almost straight down because that makes him not look so happy. This guy doesn't look real happy, but we're going to cheer him up a little bit. Cut this little, uh, make him have some little jowls there. Okay, next part, let's take our pointed pencil, nice sharp point, and not quite halfway between the bottom of the nose and the, and the chin, we're going to make a little smile line. We want it to be closer to the bottom of the nose than the chin. If you make it too far down here, he looks like a Neanderthal. So we're just going to go right across here. And I'm not going to curve that up too much. And then we're going to take our knife tip and cut that line out. Okay, so here we go. This is a big V, v cut. Bottom of that line top of that line. And there goes the little smile. See that little, little smile come out? It says in the book, little smile's going to come out. There we go. Alright, everybody has a little dip underneath their uh, lower lip where their chin is. If we leave him like this, he's going to look like he has underslung jaw or so, you know, out. So we're going to cut that a little bit. A little detail cut. Cut it here. Okay, he's looking a little better. I'm going to take that little U gouge I told you you needed to get and make this uh, thing we call snot trough. Oh, did I say that out loud? It's called a little, see that little dip right there? Made a little separation of his lips. Now we're going to cut a little lip here. Give him a little lip. Give him a little lip on this side. I don't know if you can see that, but it's that's what makes these guys a little cuter. All right, his chin is sticking out a little too far, so let's cut that off. A little Botox here and there. Yeah, he's looking a little better. Now we're going to take this, this tip of this knife and make that lower lip uh, stick out. This is where the personality starts to come out when you get these cuts in. Let's give him a little more. There, he's got some lip now, some lower lip. <laughs> okay, he's got some pretty big jowls there, so we're just going to soften those. Take that hard uh, shadow off of there. <laughs> yeah, he's looking to look pretty good here.
You see why you need a sharp knife. Let's take a little more off. Give me a little bit of cheek. Okay. I'm going to round his chin a little bit. Okay, his nose is kind of flat. And we don't have a separation here for his eyebrows. So we're going to take this little U gouge, run it right up. Okay. Now, his mouth is done. His cheeks are pretty good. We're going to uh, soften them a little bit. I'm going to make him uh, the cut the little sides of his nose off here. So his nose sticks out a little more. Okay, watch this. This line right here is making him look sad. So I'm going to come in here with my knife and just open that up a little more. Clean that little part out. You see one side of his face to see what a change that's made. Remember I told you the deep part of his face right there where his eye is? That's going to make more of a shadow. open his eye up and see the shadows on this side of his face and how that's changed. This little line has changed his whole like personality. Over here he was looking kind of sad. Now over here he's looking pretty happy. Okay, so this side of the face is pretty much done. You know, now we're going to go over here and deepen this, this eye. We're going to make it a little happier. Yeah, a little bit better. And when we paint these, boy, they just come alive. Okay, now we got to do his nose. Little nose job here. Ah, there he is. There's his face. Isn't that amazing? Get some of that sawdust boogie out of there. Don't be afraid to go in and make these cuts deeper, you know, just a little piece of wood that you spend hours on. <laughs> okay. He has a little story of his own. We'll find out pretty soon what, what he's been through. Okay, we still have to put clothes on him. We have to put his hair in. But uh, his face is pretty much done. Okay, I'm just going to uh, give him a little, little breathing holes here. There, he's got little nostrils. He can breathe. Gives him a little bit more character. See that? All right. Deepen that eye a little bit. There we go. Okay, now put his clothes on. He's going to he's a farmer. So we're just going to take our pencil and make him some overalls here. 
going to use these as is uh, where the overalls would go. Give him a little V here in the back because that's what they had. He's got his pockets, got his hands in his pockets. Okay, this is going to come around here. It's going to come around here. They always had a little pocket here in the front for, a, I guess, a pencil and whatever else they needed. There we go. Now you can wood burn these in, or you can uh, you can you can carve them in. You know, I like to carve them in because I use that little V tool and then kind of cut up to it. So it looks like the overalls are over his shirt, right? See, they're, they're related. Okay, this goes straight across. This comes in here. And a little shirt here. Okay, and then we're just going to take our V-tool and go around and do those. First, we're going to do the hair. And we don't want hair just to go straight up. Let's just kind of crisscross it. I do the, the top part first. And just kind of do it sporadically you know they, we don't want it to be so symmetrical because that is now hair is then we're going to turn it over and I like to kind of go in between them there again don't be so symmetrical make some a little bit deeper go up into his hat and then uh, I'll go ahead and finish the hair and show you how to you know just put the the clothes on with this V tool you may want to leave it like that or just cut up to it that's what I like to do so it looks like yeah they do have overalls on Um, I put the rest of his hair in. I put his clothes on with the with this V tool. You know, and if you don't have a V tool, you could take your knife around and uh, make a cut, a stop cut, and and come up to it. It would be a sharp a sharp cut, so it wouldn't look the same as a V tool. But you know, if that's all you have, that's all you have. Okay, I've gone around, I've deepened his eyes a little bit, maybe deepen this one a little bit more. Get that crud out of there. I deepened the corners of his mouth a little bit. So there again, it's a sharp cut and it takes a shadow a little different. Made him a little happier, didn't it? Okay, here's his hair not straight up and down you know cross cuts and everything took the V tool went around and then I took my knife just like this so it looked like the overalls are over his shirt you know he's got the slouchy pants oh we did forgot something right here we didn't put any uh, little creases here we don't want him to be too neat and tidy little V cut here little V cut here there it's a little better get rid of that little piece of junk okay he's got a little shirt on here that'll be red this will be blue red blue pretty easy to paint and we'll do that next oh let's look at this guy right here let's compare this is number 54, and this guy is number 2020. Similar, but this face looks a lot more realistic, doesn't it? 
He is pretty cute. This guy, eh, not so much. Okay, next place, painting. Hey, thanks for carving with me. I hope you've enjoyed. This is a whole series on how to carve Little People 101. All right, thank you, and please subscribe and hit like. And this is Sharon. See you later. Bye.